We're gonna rotate over. We do have our ultimate. We blink in, we activate our three, we cast our ultimate. Gobble, 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 and we get a double kill. I love it. What a do, Scooby Doo! It's your boy Shiny B Gaming, and today we're gonna be playing Bakasora on the PTS. If you are new to the channel, I upload every single day. I add some commentary to a game that I've already played with the intention of seeing what went right, what went wrong, and hopefully there's something that we can learn together. If there is something that we learn together, make sure you check out the channel and subscribe for more content. If you are a returning viewer, I feel like Bakasora is the best character to try as jungle with the Mannequin Scepter. He has a little bit of health regen built into his kit, and he's basic attack focused. So I thought, hey, why not try up a different start and see how it goes. This video is going to be my findings. So let's go ahead and jump into Bakasora's kit. Bakasora is one, takedown. Bakasora leaps to his ground target location, dealing damage to all enemies in the area and increasing the damage they take from all sources by 10% for three seconds. Bakasora is two, eat minion. Bakasora grabs a minion and devours it, healing himself and gaining a protections buff. Large jungle monsters must be at 33% health to be eaten, but will provide 2 minions towards regurgitate. Up to 6 minions can be stored for regurgitate. At level 1, he's going to gain 10 protections. At level 5, he's going to gain 30 protections. And the protection duration is going to last for 10 seconds. Bakasora's 3, Butcher Blades. Bakasora passively gains physical power. When activated, he gains additional true damage on each strike for the duration. While this ability is not active, he's going to gain 10 physical power at level 1, 30 physical power at level 5. When it is active, his basic attacks are going to deal 10 true damage at level 1, 70 true damage at level 5, and the duration is 6 seconds. Bakasora's ultimate, Regurgitate. Bakasora regurgitates all the minions consumed by his 2 eat minion ability on the ground target location that slows for 3 seconds and cripples enemy players. This lasts for 5 seconds. Bakasora's basic attack becomes cone attacks and he is immune to crowd control for a short duration. Bakasora is able to use eat minion on his regurgitated minion. The slow field is going to be 20% at level 1, 40% at level 5. The slow duration is 3 seconds. The cone attack duration is 5 seconds and he's going to have 1 second of crowd control immunity. And finally, Bakasora's passive. Insatiable Hunger. This ability is actually receiving a nerf in this upcoming patch. Bakasora's attack and movement speed is temporarily increased for each enemy that he kills. The attack speed is going to be increased by 7% per stack. The movement speed originally was 7% per stack that's getting reduced to 5% per stack. The buff duration is going to be 10 seconds and the maximum amount of stacks he can have is 3. In terms of the leveling order, at level 1, we want to put a point into our 1, level 2, put a point into our 2, level 3, put a point into our 3, level 4, put another point into our 3, then at level 5, we want to max out our ultimate whenever we can, max out our 3, max out our 1, max out our 2. We're going to go ahead and jump on the minions, get a basic attack onto this Vulcan, Set's pretty weak, we're going to start putting some pressure onto him. He feeds the Yanis portal, we get a basic attack. We have our blink in just a moment. We should save our blink. We're gonna jump in. Oh, he's like one shot. Janus comes in, throws his two, and is able to clean up the set. We're gonna go ahead and work on these harpies. Eat one of them. So in season eight, I feel like most junglers are gonna to wanna to start with Bumba's Dagger, but we wanted to try a Mannequin Scepter start. Bumba's Dagger provides you with health and mana every time you clear a jungle monster. So we are kind of hurting for mana right now because we are not getting that regen. But we wanted to try out the Mannequin Scepter. The Mannequin Scepter is going to provide 10 basic attack damage, 15 physical protections, 3 damage reduction. It has a passive that enemies hit by your basic attacks are burned, taking 20 physical damage over 2 seconds, and have their attack speed reduced by 7%. Jungle monsters take 2.5 times the amount of damage, the burn damage that is. This effect can stack up to 4 times and it can be upgraded at level 20. So we're trading sustain in the jungle for a little bit of damage.
We're already about half mana after clearing two camps. So we really just want to use some basic attacks to clear the rest. I don't know how I feel about the start. We're really just trying to test it out. We're gonna go ahead and eat the red buff. I feel like sustain in the jungle is so valuable. We're gonna go ahead and jump on the Vulcan. We just hit level five. We think Set is on his red. We're gonna rotate over. The red's down, but we hear him. So we're gonna rotate to these back harpies. We're gonna blink in, throw our ultimate. And we're able to clean him up. Having a cone attack for Mannequin Scepter is going to be gross if we can pull it off in the right situation. We're going to go ahead and work on the oracles, and we're pretty low on mana once again. With this build, I feel like we need to pick up some mana potions. That way we just have the mana to actually do things. It is definitely an interesting trade-off. A little bit of extra basic attack damage and some burn damage for some sustain. We're going to go ahead and back, and we're going to pick up Golden Blade. Golden Blade is going to provide us 30 physical power, 15% attack speed, and 10% movement speed. It has a passive that all basic attacks will also hit enemies within 15 unit radius for 50% of the damage. Having played Bakasaur a bunch in the past, whenever you land your basic attacks on the center jungle camp or the large jungle camp, it feels really weird to clear that before the two small minions. Ultimate is down! We're gonna go ahead and rotate towards this Changa. Right See if we can get her to step up a little bit. She might have seen us. We're gonna jump in. We threw our ultimate basic. Somehow that second basic missed. I felt like she was in the cone. That was a pretty bad misplay. We had her dead to right. We could have eaten the Greatest Scorpion. I think that would have been interesting. What happens to the three ticks after we swallow a Lesser Scorpion? So Vulcan is the highest level in the lobby. He's a level eight, so we do need to be a little bit careful when we rotate towards mid. We're gonna go ahead and clear this wave. Rotate to the red buff. Golden Blade is gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna help us with our clear speed in jungle. It's also going to make it to where whenever we ult, we can absolutely chunk a grouping of people. We're going to go ahead and hit this greatest scorpion. Our ult's down for another 5-ish seconds. We're going to go ahead and rotate over. Get some basics onto this Artemis. And we're able to clean her up. Our speed's about to spawn, so we do want to back here in just a moment. We're gonna blink in, throw out our ultimate. Vulcan uses his ultimate and his Aegis. Set's also here. This is not a good fight for us, so we're gonna jump out. Good play by that Vulcan, throwing up his ultimate and then throwing out the Aegis. We're gonna go ahead and eat a minion, start falling back. And we have enough money for the attack speed boots, so we're gonna go ahead and pick those up and then pick up a mana potion. I feel like with the Bumba's Dagger start, the traditional Enemy jungler starter start. item, we can clear more camps before mm -hmm. having the back. With Mannequin Scepter, we're limited in the amount of camps that we can clear because we burn mana so quickly. Oh 
We're gonna rotate to the Chaka, hit her with her one. We get two basic attacks, one more would have done the job, but we have to back out because of the tower. We're gonna go ahead and secure our blue buff while our team invades the enemy blue buff. So Manic and Scepter will not apply stacks from Golden Blade, meaning whichever minion we hit with our basic attacks, that's the one that's actually going to take damage. We got to use our ultimate. I'm going to start gobbling too. Oh, he's so weak. And Ares is able to burn us. Our team was able to clean him up, but we did trade our life for that. So Bakasaurus 3 applies true damage. What is true damage? True damage will apply the number of true damage without dealing with protections. So at level 1 it is 10 true damage, meaning that every time we land a basic attack, we're going to do our basic attack damage plus the 10 true damage. They could have a billion protections and we would still deal that 10 true damage. Level 5 it is 70, so it is a pretty cool ability. Really allows you to chunk the enemy team. We're going to go ahead and rotate to our speed buff. Ultimate is down. Your middle tower We're going to go ahead and eat one of these, get another stack on our ultimate. This Chonga's barely gotten away twice now. We really want to get a pick onto her. We didn't see where she was, so we're going to go ahead and rotate towards mid. There's Set. He's looking to invade. He has to know we're right behind him. He uses his dash to get out of there. We're going to go ahead and rotate to mid. Three people here. We got to wait for the right time. We're going to blink in, throw out our ultimate. Get some basics. Rack is able to get the pick onto the Vulcan. We're gonna jump in. 10% more damage from all sources onto that Ares. Oh, he's a wiggly one. And Kabrakin's able to clean him up. We gotta eat a minion, regenerate a little bit of health. Jump over the wall, put a little bit of pressure onto the set. Our blink is down, so he's probably out right here. We have a lot of assists as Bakasora. We're 2 1 and 6 right now. We've been involved in 8 of our 11 kills. I like to just run around in a small circle whenever waiting for a camp. We go ahead and hit the oracles. Two people in mid. We have about 10 seconds on our ultimate. We go ahead and check the enemy purple buff. It is not there. Enemy missing, enemy missing middle. Enemy missing right. Scary out there. Vulcan's here. We're gonna go ahead and use our ultimate onto him. We jump. He's able to wiggle. We get hit by his meatball. We're gonna fall back. Let our team who's coming in from the Janus portal clean him up. Be careful. We're very weak. We want to be careful on how far we push up here. We're gonna go ahead and back, and we're gonna pick up the stone cutting sword. The stone cutting sword is gonna provide us 50 physical power, 7% movement speed, and it has a passive that melee basic attacks decrease the enemy's physical protections by 10 and increase your physical protections by 10 for 3 seconds. Maximum of 3 stacks. Looks like you gotta step it up. This item acts like a penetration item. It can remove up to 30 protections, but it also grants you 30 protections. 
So our three teammates who were pushed up far on right got cleaned up, which is not a good sign. Stone Cutting Sword is also receiving a price reduction for some reason. They said it's because it doesn't have any attack speed, but I think the Stone Cutting Sword is a very strong item. We're able to secure the Greatest Scorpion at the Fire Giant. That's going to give us an increased boob up and an increased speed. We're going to go ahead and clean up the minions in mid. Right now we are tied for the highest level in the lobby. We're going to go ahead and hit this red buff. Go ahead and hit the greatest scorpion that's on our side. Three people over in solo lane. Any pressure in right is going to be good. We jump onto this Vulcan. We get body blocked by the turret. This Vulcan is very wiggly. Izanami is able to clean him up. With three people over in left, we should be able to get gold. Nobody seems to want to help. Please. Yeah, that's a shame. That was a wide open gold fury. Our speed is about to spawn, so we're going to go ahead and back. We're going to go ahead and start working on our speed buff, basically start another rotation. And we're going to start going into the Hasten Katana. Ultimate is down. Cuckoo's over in mid, so we're gonna go ahead and clean up his wave, maybe even push his lane a little bit. And the enemy team's able to secure the Gold Fury. We had it wide open, I think we should have gone for it. We're gonna rotate to the team fight. We do have our ultimate and a full stack on our passive. Or on our regurgitate, I should say. And we have to run because we took some damage from Vulcan. Rotation Janus. We're gonna go ahead and rotate in, see if we can help him out. We do have our blink, but Set's able to clean him up. We blink in, we use our ultimate. It's an Aegis from Set. And we're able to clean him up. Maybe not the best ultimate because we only got one person. We're going to go ahead and secure this red buff. Right now we're just trying to take camps, farm, while we lost the team fight. Changa's here. We get some basics onto her. She ults us. We need to disengage from this fight and pick a different one. Ares is here. We do have a bees. We're going to go ahead and pop it. We jump away from the Artemis. Oh no. Vulcan's here. We're going to wiggle around until we get our jump. We're going to jump over it. It looks like we are out. Someone throws up a surrender on our team. I do feel like we are losing this fight. Or this this game. We're going to go ahead and pick up Hasten Katana. Hasten Katana is going to provide us 25 physical power, 15% attack speed, and 7% movement speed. Hitting an enemy with a basic attack grants hasten for one second, causing you to become immune from basic attack movement speed penalties. We're able to clean up the set. Now that we have hasten online, when we activate our three, we can basically stick on somebody and just melt them. 
I think Chaga and Vulcan are going to be the hardest two to melt. This Vulcan has proven that he's quite wiggly, and the Chaga can just kind of get increased movement speed from using her abilities. We're gonna go ahead and apply some pressure to this Changa. We do have our ultimate, activator three, cast our ultimate. Munch, munch, munch. We get ulted, we're gonna jump in, get some additional basic attacks. We're really getting chunked right here. She pops the shell, that's our sign to disengage. If she didn't pop a shell, we would have kept fighting her and we probably would have gotten the pick onto her. Vulcan's here, that's his ultimate. We're gonna jump away, not our fight. Set's here. That's an Aegis from Set. We're gonna get some basics onto him, and Janus is able to clean him up. We're gonna jump away, avoid the Vulcan. When ulting with Bakasora, you want to activate your three and then ult. If you ult and then activate your three, you could potentially miss out on a cone basic attack. We're gonna go ahead and back and we're gonna start working on kin size. Your left tower has been destroyed. Ultimate is ready on my way. Ultimate is down. We're gonna rotate over. We do have our ultimate. We blink in, we activate our three, we cast our ultimate. Gobble, 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 and we get a Double kill. I love it. Enemies in the middle lane. We should be able to get Pyromancer or Fire Giant right here. We're gonna rotate to this team fight in mid. Okay, attack middle lane. Double kill. Please. We activate our three, we're gonna stick to this Vulcan, he's out of mana. And we're able to clean up the Vulcan. We should go for an objective, gold or fire. We accidentally pick up red buff. This is a Primal Fury. The Primal Fury will increase the amount of damage that we deal to jungle monsters. This includes Harpies, Fire Giant, Future Gold Furies, and the Pyromancer in colored camps. We're gonna go ahead and back. We're just shy of being able to pick up Kin Size. Can't pick up speed because we're wearing red. There's a fat wave over in left. We are level 20, so we could upgrade our mannequin scepter to the mannequin mace. We use our ultimate. Artemis trap, Vulcan ult, that's not good. We're gonna go ahead and fall back and we're gonna pick up the kin size. Chonga comes in, ults us. You probably didn't even need to ult us, but we go down to that for our lazy back. That's unfortunate. Looks like you gotta step it up. Izanami's pushing the right Phoenix. She might be able to get it. We're going to go ahead and pick up Kinsize. Kinsize is going to provide us 40 physical power and 20% attack speed. 
It has a passive that on basic attack hits, deal physical damage equal to 3% of the target's maximum health. If the target had over 2,000 health, this damage scales up to a maximum of 5%. If the target had 2,750 health or more. So the Mannequin Mace is basically going to give us 60% or 60 burn damage. Can stack the same amount of times. Your left tower is under attack. And it is going to provide 50 basic attack damage, 100 health, and 30 physical protections with 8 damage reduction. Our other option was the Mannequin Hidden Blade, which hits passive if you have not taken or dealt damage in the last 5 seconds and hit an enemy god, jungle monster, or jungle boss, they immediately take 15% of their current health as physical damage and are slowed by 20% for 5 seconds. This sounds like an appealing item, however I think that's more for ability based characters. I don't know, we wanted to do the Mannequin Scepter, Mannequin Base, Mace start and see how it goes. I feel like the early game was a little bit rough, but now that we're in the mid and late game, it is a pretty nice item to have to have that extra damage. We do have our ultimate, we're waiting for a good time to engage. We're gonna rotate behind the tower. The fight has gone more. elsewhere. We pick up the Vulcan. Artemis is on us. Artemis is still here, she's kind of zoning us from the team fight. We activate our ultimate, we take a lot of damage before that fight even starts. We're able to get the Ares, but then we go down to the Artemis. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the Mannequin Mace. I had somebody ask me why did I not buy a starter item or upgrade it as soon as I could in one of my previous videos. And I think the starter items are very interesting because they're new and they're pretty spicy. However, an item like Kin Size is just a staple item. Bracken says they got a better carry in mid. And I say mid not bad. And I meant it as like, eh, mid's not bad. And he says, eh. <laughs> Which kind of capsulates how I was trying to say it. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the speed buff. Fire Giant's pretty open, we got a good group in. So with the upgraded Mannequin Mace, we should be applying burn damage to the Fire Giant. We're able to secure fire. Phoenix for Phoenix, we're still in this game. We're gonna go ahead and use our ultimate. It's an Aegis from Changa. We use our beads. We're going to jump away. We got the pick onto Changa. We got ulted by Artemis. We're pretty weak, we're gonna pop a health potion, we're looking to get behind this fight and engage. Vulcan's full health, he hits us with some abilities, and we're on the run. We should just hard back right here, we can't find a good spot to engage. Why are we going back into the jungle? We're gonna eat a minion. Vulcan's here. We heard him, we just didn't know where he was coming from. Kabrakin gets a stun. We're very weak, we're gonna disengage and let Kabrakin clean that up. 
Looks like Set was able to survive that. We're the only person alive. It's going to be very rough trying to defend this left Phoenix. Izanami's up. Oh no. That was a terrible ultimate. Oh my goodness. That was our worst play of the game, hands down. What were we doing? They're on the Titan. It's a Dia side. I think they're going to be able to clean this one up. Well, sometimes that's just how the mop flops. I thought the Mannequin Scepter was an interesting start. There was definitely a trade-off. I hope I pointed it out clearly enough for you guys to understand. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps these videos out. If you feel like you learned anything at all, check out the channel and subscribe for more content. These stats for this game will be posted in just a moment. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.